time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Wednesday, October 23rd. s and P's down 66, NASDAQ down 370, Russell down 27, Dow down 460. Gold is off about a percent, silver down three and a half, notes and bonds a little bit red, 10-year yield up three quarters of a percent, oil down a little over one, natty gas up 3%. Grains all green, euro and the pound red, Bitcoin down about two and a, two and a half percent. VIX up to 19.6, actually off of its highs by a little bit with this little bounce that we're seeing. I uh, did a 1DTE this morning, got stopped out of it before I had the chance to transform it. Uh, my 1DTE from yesterday that I transformed is looking good as long as we, well, it was looking really good. Now, got to stay below 57.95 to hit max profit on that one. My BIX on this bounce took a couple of double stops. So those look like they're going to be red. We'll see where they settle out. My price action BIX uh, did pretty good, up about 1,000 on those. Got smoked out of a couple calendars. And I think that's about it. No Wooga today. So I'm gonna I may do one more tranche of my price action bix if we get a little sideways action. Otherwise, nothing really on except for this one DTE from yesterday. Chad, how's your day? Yeah, pretty light day of trading. Um so let's see, did a one DTE. Let me go through this here. Did a one DTE and um ended up closing it out. I closed the shorts out when I saw what was coming and um, left the longs on. Yeah. I wish I would have done that. Nice yeah. I mean, that. yeah, it's just, I, I just, I don't, that doesn't happen very often with the one DTE, but once it, I'm trying to think, I mean, look back at my time here. Did I close that out? Okay. So would have been, well, first I'll talk about it a second. First, let me go through what I'm in now. So, um, anyway, I ended up scaling out of my long puts, uh, the one DT ended up being a, a $1,260 winner. Thanks to the long puts. My, my most expensive was 970. It started to bounce. I got out of my final two, um, at 730. So I got out of half at 570, one more at 970. And then it started bouncing, got out of my last two at 730. Um, and there's no like magic to that. There's no, like, it's just all by feel uh, my am1 got stopped and then same thing i kind of scaled out of my long puts it ended up being an 830 dollars winner um i am in a wooga and so i can tell you this i would have never put on a wooga today if i'd have been down like in the if i'd been in the red but since i ended up being in the green i thought well um I was um, my Wuga I put on is the let's see here. It's the 8590s for 615 credit. And my max loss on it is $770. So I did two contracts. So my my you know, I basically if I take it off at 50, I might even take it off at 30, who knows? But um, the max I can lose on it is $770. So that's why I did it. So I would have never put it on if I was down five or six K, you know, from my TLC and one DTE trades. So 
getting getting that money back with the long puts definitely uh, helped me, you know, maybe jump in another trade here for, you know, minimal risk. So that's where I'm at. So we're getting a little bit of sideways action here. Yeah, that's <clears throat> I, I was kind of counting on it to get sideways. Um, let's see. So it was uh, about 10, 15 central when I closed those shorts on my one DTE. So if you look at 10, 15 central on price, it's where I, it, it started to bust through. And when I saw it starting to bust through lows of day, I could tell with the VIX going up, this could get ugly. And, um, and yeah, so I just, I just closed the shorts, which yeah, normally I will, if I'm taking profits, I'm closing the entire iron condor. But if, if, if I'm getting smoked out of one side or the other, and I just play it just like a, uh, just like a zero DTE iron condor. Went ahead and jumped in. Oh, I got filled. I meant to get, I was hoping I'd get filled on the 80s and 95s, but I got filled on the 95s and 85s. So 10 wide. Just a little four lot. Got a little yeah. sideways action. Yeah, I'm up. Seven percent in this wooga right now, and what you know, like I said, worst thing that can happen is I lose seven hundred and seventy bucks without still gonna be green for the day. But yeah, it's tough, tough to trade TLC trades when you have price action like this. Yeah, so Mo, uh, Moel, I was gonna. What, 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 what were you trading today? Um, I mean, because I only put on two trades, a one DTE and a in one TLC trade. So, what, what else was what? What other opportunities in this type of price action? Are you just were you just getting back in on iron condors or something? He posted in the Zero Live chat channel. Oh, I was looking at the my mind. <clears throat> yeah, okay, so a second one DTE. Yeah, so there's just that one DTE. I don't know, I remember you posting that and I was like, no, I mean, when it's like I think it was like middle of the day or something, or getting close to noon. You know, with the VIX going up, that one DT is just not going to give you the theta to gay, decay. So, I mean, definitely, definitely learn from that. The, the risk just doesn't outweigh the reward. The reward, I'm sorry, the reward doesn't outweigh the risk. That one DTE that's the VIX rising. Uh, as far as TLC goes... Yeah, there just really wasn't many periods of consolidation uh, after it broke through lows of day. I mean, after 11 a.m. Central, I mean, there just wasn't any place to enter a TLC. So we just got to learn from that, too. And also, since it's discretionary, you know, don't don't wait for that full stop on your second 1DT. Just, you know, that's kind of a revenge trade, right? In 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 uh, in I've done that many times in the past. I mean, you you you'll get it back. So you just gotta flush it. Oh yeah, Chessmaster, I really nailed my uh my earnings plays. I went long STX and it's down eight percent. I went short TXN and it's up four <laughs> percent. Need to if I flip flop those, that would have worked out better. Yeah, poor Sholix. Uh I don't use interactive brokers, but so I, I don't know how their that broker works, but I mean there's videos on 
my one DTE and my TLC, like what stops to use. Yeah. How you then execute it in the interactive br brokers. I don't know because I don't, I don't use that. That might be an interactive brokers question. That was my, that was my sarcastic voice, Ken. Have you not learned that yet? <laughs> yes. Getting, getting nailed. How about that? Maybe I didn't nail it. It nailed me. By the way, if you're new and and uh, you see me do those earnings trades, those are just for fun. There's zero. I mean, they're for a couple, few hundred bucks. They're just something to do. So don't, please don't look at those as like a core strategy. I'm trying to guess direction of earnings is kind of a crapshoot. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Maybe you can answer his question there, Steve. I don't know if he's in the live stream. Poor, poor, uh, poor Shalix. Is he in your channel? Yeah, he posted a question there. I I tried to answer it, but I, he's not answering if he's in the live stream or not. So I, I don't know if he heard me. Poor Shalix, are you on the live stream? I don't think he's got an interactive brokers question. I mean, if you don't know how to close a trade, I wouldn't be trading live money. That's for sure. All right. I honestly wouldn't be surprised. Oh, you have to Tesla today. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see this just rip up to uh, at least Yeah, I thought uh, we started a bounce. I thought we may, thought we may bounce. I put on a VRR and NDX. It's up nicely. But I would like to sit here for a while. Take some of this off first. Yeah, Dark Avenger, I'm in a Wooga. 85 90s. $770 max loss. Two contracts. Well, I, I wouldn't say on a day like today, chess master, I just, if I, you know, start to feel fairly confident in a, in a directional move, then I will 
it's a directional play. So when we finally had a big drop in the VIX here at about 120, that's when I kind of thought, okay, I think we're, we may bounce from here. So I just, I put on a directional play. I chose NDX and now I can, um, could transform it or I could just leave it. I haven't decided which. So I'm pretty close to being able to remove the risk. And having a, uh, it's a one DTE trade. So it'd be for tomorrow's expiration. So I'd have a $2,000 upside max profit. If we bounce tomorrow, but I'll, I'll decide what to do by the end of the day here. I've only got I've only got two red days for TLC in October. So those longs definitely helped helped me there. I did do, I did do a little futures trading today. Just trading small MES micros. Up about a little over six hundred. Trying to distract myself from not putting on any short premium. So I traded futures. Worked well. Getting close to Well, what do we think in Tesla here? Just kind of cracked through the lows of that little consolidation area. After the gap down, after the Tesla cab event. Uh, Cody, I put one on, let's see. I used, I was in a couple of different accounts here. Let me just make sure. I think I, yeah, I put one on at the open, like an AM iron condor, because the VIX was a little bit elevated. Yeah, so put my first one on at 9.32 AM. And I booked... I just did a, f a few contracts on that, took two of the three off at about 25%. And then my last one got stopped out on the put side, still holding the call side. So that'll be about 300 and some dollar winner on that one. And then hang on a second.
getting at a half of this at 20 percent and then let me see i switched over to a different account i'm looking at a just looking at my entry times here so so my next one went on at 11.09. So that was right. It was right here in this little consolidation. And that one. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. Any. I didn't take any profits out of that one before it stopped out my put side. So that one will be about a, uh, actually a small loser because my put side was a little bit bigger than my call side. So that'll be about a $150 loser. And then my next one was at 1126. So right in this consolidation area here. And like Chad said, it's not really a whole lot of consolidation. If I wasn't doing the BIC style, I wouldn't have put on a regular iron condor, but I feel a little bit more comfortable because if it keeps going, one side gets stopped out, you're essentially a scratch. So that one let's see. Yeah, that one I did not book any profits before getting stopped out, but it'll still be a $250 winner. And then my next one was 127. Oh, that was that one. Uh, yeah, so those are those are the times that I put them on. Current one on, I just closed half at 50% or Looking at the at the money butterflies, be interesting to see how early, if at all, we get in one of those today with today's action. 85 fly currently trading for under a dollar. Another reason I got in that Wooga. <clears throat> Was it? It was at one forty-seven central, which is the OG Wuga time, and it was six fifteen, six dollars and fifteen cents credit. So I really like that. <clears throat> Don't really get that type of credit on a Wuga. It's currently up seventeen percent. So chess masters going short on a. Old Tesla, huh? Oh yeah, definitely go long then. <laughs> had a losing, tra I had a losing trade in the day in the live stream today, thanks to Chess Master. Chess Master, yeah, he got he sucked me into Coinbase. <laughs> Is uh, Chess Master the new Chris? <laughs> you didn't make <laughs> money on Coin. 
Not if Chris. you got long. <laughs> Chris said sell Tesla too. There's there's two two uh, saying sell. Bet the that's, farm. That's really making me want to go long. Yeah, I'd say go bigger than normal. <laughs> Grish, where have you been? You've been a little quiet. Oh, okay. Well, don't don't text and drive. Oh. Uh, do I take off part of this at like 30%? This Wooga. It's up 21% now. It's completely discretionary. Probably would be a good idea to close half at 30%. Been in a super tight range for the last 30 minutes. Yeah, I could still see it breaking out one way or the other here. Yep. But, but yeah. Four thirty. That would be thirty percent profit. It's at four ninety. No, no, the coin was a upside continuation runner. Was what he 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 said it was said it was, and so sucked me in, and then it then it just collapsed. Take a look at coin. Yeah. So it was. Let's see here. Yeah, I was on that. Uh, if you got in around eight fifty. Kind of could have cut a little bounce there. It, it was after highs of after the pullback after highs of day. Oh. But but but, I the, I got in before it dropped. Like I got in and then it dropped below that green wick. So I got in like halfway down the the green wick, the the price action that highs of day. Oh, gotcha. Right here. Yeah, I got in like right there on a little pullback. And then the last 30 seconds of the bar, it just fell apart. And then it continued to go against me. I, I closed it out, but it was a really, I mean, it was like a two minute trade. But it hurt. I did something similar in Tesla right here. But I was able to cut my loss pretty quick. Yeah, when it when it started to bounce up here, got in, and then when this candle came in, I just cut before it even pushed down. All right, so we're going long Tesla. We got that figured out. We got a about a 15 and a half point expected move. It's currently trading at 213. I think the uh, Tesla cab negativity was a little overdone is really why I'm going long. Not just because Chris and Chessmaster are going short. But that certainly helped my conviction. Well, you sure you want to follow me? My my track record on these 
picking earnings direction is not stellar by any means. Just for fun. I got filled at 204. Yeah, if it pushes through this little consolidation here. Who knows how far it'll go up. Well, I thought my 5,800 calls on my BIX were safe, but apparently not. close to 40 percent if you can sit here for a little bit longer chess master i hope you know we're just joking with you chris knows it's all out of love so i don't have to apologize to him but you're a little newer, so I just want to make sure you know. All right, good. So that means we can keep making fun of you. <laughs> Where where are you at, Chess Master? Are you are you in the United States? Spokane, Washington. Okay. I've been there many times. Never been there as a child. We used to uh, when I lived in Missoula, Montana. We'd vacation to Spokane and Seattle. <laughs> that, was, okay. that was our big vacation spot. Go ahead. I went ahead and got out at 20%, uh, half my Wooga. I'm just not really. Not feeling quick, it. Yeah, just quick trigger today. I mean, I could see this. It's kind of trying to break out of this consolidation.
So I just it's been kind of a stressful day of trading. So now if it goes against me, it's a $385 loss. I may just let it go to the bell now. I only have one contract left. We'll see. It couldn't get through there. It looks like it's coming back down. Need about five, five more minutes here. I should be able to five to ten minutes. I should be able to hit forty percent. Heck, you can still get a. Four four seventy dollar Wuga. There you go, Dark Avenger. Let's see, what did all the other stocks do today? Peton's up 10%. AT&T's up 4, TXN up 4, DJT up 3. Walmart is green, Costco's green. On the red side, STX, ARM, Plug, Coinbase, Roku, Nvidia's down three, Meta down three, Amazon down two and a half, Apple down two and a half, Netflix down two, Tesla down two. It's trying to break out. So tomorrow is Thursday. We've got unemployment claims, pre-market, flash, manufacturing and services, PMI, 15 minutes after the market opens. New home sales at 9 a.m. Central. Friday, durable goods, pre-market, consumer sentiment, 30 minutes after the bell. Right at my 40%. Take one off, leave one. See if I can't squeeze a little 20, 40, 60 at a power hour.
Uh, Neo Noob, I just put on a discretionary price action BIC trade. So it's the one on my screen here. It's on the 8595 strike. Took half off at 20%, took another quarter off at 40%. I'm going to be doing a, uh, I mean, it's not going to be a super deep dive because there's just not a tent to it, but I am going to be doing a uh, kind of a, a mini course on, well, I'll do a, a little bit deeper overview of the British iron condor in general, and then a section on my, what I'm doing with the price action VIX as well. Yes, sir. Eli, shoot, shoot away. So the at the money 90 butterfly current trading for still only around a buck. They're going to hold on to that till the very end. Fully loaded. Have you seen the just the the BIC overview video that's pinned in the in the BIC channel? Okay, cool. Uh, no, Eli, that would not be correct. That that is the that is the thing about any calendarized trade is that those risk graphs are very unreliable because you're dealing with two different expirations. So the risk graphs are dynamic. They will, they can expand and contract, expand and contract depending on how implied volatility reacts between the front and the backdated options. So the only, the only thing I really use risk graphs for, for, for any calendars is just to get a kind of a snapshot of what it looks like right then in time. But, but you cannot, you can't rely on it to project P and L or anything like that. Cause it'll, it'll expand and contract throughout the life of the trade. So it's not like an iron condor where that risk graph is static. You just can't really reflect an accurate depiction because you're utilizing two different expirations with two different implied volatilities. Yeah, Neo Noob, it's, it's the one right under the one that we're in right here. 
There's a link. And then the there's if you go up to the top of that, there's a, a little pin. Here, I'll show you my screen. There's this little pin up here. So if you go to the big channel and go to the pinned messages, there's a uh, there's an overview and some shared back tests as well. Um, uh, Eli, what do you mean by, so you really pay attention to the P and L. I mean, I have, I have my parameters for the trade, you know, with profit targets and exit points and stuff like that. But, but so, so if that's what you mean, then yes. Uh, the pin is just, I can pin specific messages so that, you know, if it's something that I know that people are going to need to refer back to, I can pin a message and then those messages are always pinned at the top. Really, you can't see the sub channel? Really? It should be visible as long as. Um, as long as somebody posts in it at least every seven days and it's posted in on a daily basis. Let's see here. Okay, so it's visible to you, Kelvin. Is there a little drop down arrow or something that you have collapsed? Huh. I wonder if there's something in your setting. Is it it's it with Discord it's considered a thread? So the other thing you can always do is if you're in the Serial Live chat channel, you can click on this little spool at the top. It says threads, and you'll see it there as well. But I thought it was, I just thought it was visible for everybody. See how it's dropped down under mine? It's very odd that some people can see it and some can't. Oh, there's a lock. Huh. All right.
Yeah. So anyway, that's where all the big action is. Kind of grinding out of this little consolidation area, but no real moves. Oh, thanks, Gary. So you have to join it. I, I did not realize that. Appreciate it. All right, about 18 and a half minutes to go. Ninety five butterfly is trading for about a dollar fifty ish. <laughs> I just created that big thread when we first started talking about it, just to take it out of this zero live chat channel, just to kind of clean that up. But with as much discussion and as, as you know, as much as a lot of us trade that now, I should probably just make it its own channel. So other, other folks don't have that issue. If I can get a little pullback to the downside, I'll close out this last contract. Heading up towards 5,800. Yeah, once it once it broke out of that consolidation, that's where I'm like, you know, who knows how high it goes? It'll go. Hell, it might get up to highs of day.
Well, I'm going to have to get out of this last little piece here to make room for my homes. We'll be back in one minute. I still pull back there, help my wooga. All right, MOC in two minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of my wooga. Ninety-five butterfly trading for a buck fifty-five, buck sixty-ish. Working the 95 butterfly to start. And MOC coming. Six hundred twenty five million buy side. Pretty small. In the fifty eight hundreds and the fifty seven ninety fives. Uh, not a channel for Wuga. 
fully loaded. It's a pretty simple strategy, so not really a uh, necessity for its own channel, but uh, I have my backtest version on my trade plan spreadsheet. And then if you have if you check out the P90X channel, there's some Wooga-ish variations that Tim Weiss has been discussing. Sitting on 95, 95 flies, trading for about a buck 90. Stay close to 95. We should get filled. So 97 right in between strikes. A little over five minutes to go. Filled on the 95s. All right, need to move away from 95. Five minutes to spare. Surely this thing wants to go to 5,800, doesn't it?
Web 97. Chad, are you still in any of your Wugas? No, I closed it out for a profit. Okay. Hanging around 97. Two minute warning. Need a move away from 95. Above 98 would work. Would win. Below 92 would win. One minute. Like that ninety seven area. Thirty seconds. Up above ninety eight. Keep on going. Little push. Little push up. Ding, ding, ding. 97.29. 97.39. So just inside the valley for Mahomes. So he'll be a small loser. My Bix will be red. My price action Bix will be nice and green. Calendars gave some back on some calendars today. But that is a wrap. All right. So tomorrow's live stream. Tomorrow is the 24th. Chad will be streaming live in the morning for day trading. And then we'll be back for power hour. Have a good night, everyone. Talk to you soon.